Elon Musk has officially turned his vision into reality. He now has his own city in Texas. This milestone comes after four years of strategic planning and groundwork. While some raise concerns about abuse of power and circumvention of the law, others are buzzing with excitement about the innovative future this move might bring. Anyway, it's undeniable that SpaceX's growing footprint has already transformed what used to be a quiet little town into something we've never quite seen before. And with the official formation of a new city, things are about to get even more intense. Stick around. Everything you need to know is coming up in today's episode of TechMap. Things kicked off in early March 2021 when Elon Musk took to social media with a bold announcement. He was creating the city of Starbase, Texas. This wasn't just a quirky idea, it was centered around the SpaceX Starship Development Hub, envisioned to be far more expansive than Boca Chica Village, where SpaceX's major launch operations exist. Over the past 10 years, SpaceX has been hard at work transforming the area, building and testing a next-gen spaceflight system aimed at eventually sending humans to Mars. Fast forward to last July, Musk made headlines again. He revealed plans to move the headquarters of both SpaceX and social media platform X from California to Texas, blaming a controversial gender identity law in California as the last straw. Then on May 3rd, Musk fired off another tweet that captured public attention. Starbase, Texas is now a real city. That declaration came on the heels of a same-day local vote. The results? Overwhelming support, 212 to 6 in favor of officially incorporating Starbase as a city. The voter pool was primarily made up of SpaceX employees and their families. What's next? A judge needs to formalize the incorporation by issuing a declaration based on the vote. Once official, the city government will include a mayor and two commissioners. So where is Starbase exactly? It's a small coastal town in southern Texas, right near the Mexico border, spanning just 1.5 square miles. The city's boundaries now wrap around SpaceX's operational zone and a few new neighborhoods nearby. Out of 247 residential lots within these new lines, only 10 aren't owned by SpaceX or someone affiliated with the company. As for the new city government, all candidates were deeply connected to SpaceX and ran unopposed. The new mayor, Robert Bobby Peden, is in his mid-30s and has been with SpaceX for more than a decade. He even donated $5,000 to the company's political action committee last December. Joining him are Jenna Petrozelka and Jordan Buss as city commissioners. Petrozelka, who began her SpaceX journey in 2012, and recently served as manager of operations engineering, also has a spouse working at the company. Buss, a senior director of environmental health and safety since 2023, made a $600 contribution to the SpaceX PAC that same year. With the vote now behind them, these three automatically assume their new roles, marking the official beginning of Starbase, Texas, Elon Musk's newest frontier. Clearly, there are several motivations and potential advantages to creating the city. Proponents argue that Starbase would reduce the strain on Cameron County by handling some of its own services, such as infrastructure and security. With increased self-governance, they believe the city can evolve in a way that better serves its workforce. Starbase General Manager Catherine Luters echoed this sentiment in 2024, stating, we need the ability to grow Starbase as a community. Formally incorporating the city represents a significant step toward turning this section of the Rio Grande Valley into a leading hub for space exploration. It would also give SpaceX greater and more streamlined control over its operations, allowing for more efficient Starship tests and launches. As an official municipality, Starbase would be able to limit the role of outside agencies in regulating SpaceX's operations. This would help the company more easily ramp up its launch frequency, from the current five annually to a goal of 25. However, the proposal to incorporate Starbase as a city 
has sparked controversy among both state officials and local residents. Critics worry that turning Starbase into its own city would allow SpaceX to circumvent regulations and tighten its grip on access to Boca Chica Beach. A Texas Senate-approved bill would shift authority to close the beach on weekdays from Cameron County to Starbase's city officials. Cameron County would only retain that power on Friday afternoons and weekends. While the change aims to simplify closures for rocket launches, it has raised concerns that public beach access could be excessively restricted. FAA licenses already permit up to 800 hours of closures per year. The bill would also criminalize being in restricted zones during these closures, imposing misdemeanor penalties. Cameron County leaders, including County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr., have pushed back against both the incorporation and the legislation, citing fears about concentrating public authority in the hands of a private company. Many locals and property owners share this concern, expressing frustration over the growing limitations on beach access and the broader transformation of the area into what some describe as a corporate town. Tensions are particularly high given that SpaceX employees dominate the new city's government. This has fueled fears that municipal powers could be used to benefit the company at the community's expense. Detractors question whether Starbase's leadership will truly prioritize public welfare or serve SpaceX's corporate agenda. The conversation turns even more urgent when environmental risks are considered. Activists and indigenous groups argue that SpaceX's testing and launch activities are harming wildlife in the ecologically fragile zones surrounding Boca Chica. Concerns range from increased light pollution that disturbs nocturnal animals to debris from launches polluting both land and sea. These issues have ignited calls from environmental groups for tighter regulation, as debates continue over how to balance innovation with ecological responsibility. Nevertheless, SpaceX's growing presence in Texas is not just a win for the company, but a game-changer for the entire state and its economy. County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr. summed it up perfectly when he said, Cape Canaveral was a sleepy little community back in the early 60s, when it was selected to be the launching site for the Apollo missions. We hope this continues to be a win-win. The number of jobs, the pay, the attention, the development, the energy, the excitement has been a net positive. And he's right. SpaceX has been a powerhouse of economic activity, with over $800 million generated in state and local government revenue SpaceX's footprint is growing fast. The company has already poured more than $3 billion into building out Starbase, which includes over 350 acres of land, 222,000 square feet of manufacturing space, and 20,000 square feet of vehicle assembly bays. But it doesn't stop there. An additional $400 million is going into the construction of a massive 1 million square feet of new manufacturing space and 329,000 square feet of office space. Since January 2023, SpaceX has spent more than $90 million on local goods and services, supporting over 80 suppliers in the Rio Grande Valley alone. And the ripple effects are huge. Over 3,400 full-time employees and contractors are directly employed thanks to Starbase, with an additional 21,400 indirect jobs being supported in the community. The economic impact, a whopping $6.5 billion in annual gross market value, along with substantial tax contributions. But it's not just about dollars and cents. Rocket launches from Boca Chica are bringing a whole new wave of tourism. In fact, over 11,000 visitors attended a single Starship launch in 2023, and a total of 20,000 tourists, plus 16,500 official visitors, came to the region to witness the magic of SpaceX and its ambitious missions. Judge Trevino didn't hold back when he expressed his gratitude to SpaceX for its direct investments in local communities and school districts. He highlighted the positive effects across the entire county noting that increased tourism and job opportunities have been a major boon. And let's not forget, SpaceX's plans go far beyond just launching rockets. 
This is a company with the vision to return humans to the moon and eventually colonize Mars. This long-term goal is already driving exponential growth and investment in the region. Looking ahead, SpaceX isn't slowing down. Their ongoing expansions, including the Bastrop Semiconductor Facility and a ramp-up in launch cadence, they're approved to do up to 25 Starship launches per year, are set to create even more jobs, drive up capital investments, and boost economic activity in Texas. In short, SpaceX's presence in Texas has transformed the state into a commercial space hub, with billions in investment, thousands of jobs, and a thriving local economy. And with plans for even more growth, this impact is only going to get bigger. Just ask Anthony Gomez, one of the few non-SpaceX employees who owns property near Starbase. He runs a popular launch viewing business called Rocket Ranch, where SpaceX enthusiasts can glamp while watching Starship launches up close. He's clearly proud of the transformation that's happening in the area, noting, you're looking at the apex of all human technology and achievement. Gomez is a big believer in SpaceX's vision, but feels the company is often misunderstood and overshadowed by politics. It's the most amazing thing happening on Earth, he said, adding that more and more people will want to live near SpaceX. Because who wouldn't want to be part of this extraordinary era of space exploration? But it's not all sunshine and rockets. The ripple effects of Musk's Texas expansion are being felt elsewhere. In 2021, Tesla moved its headquarters to Texas, followed by SpaceX and X. These moves were fueled by frustrations with California's regulatory environment, which Musk has openly criticized. The exodus has been a tough pill for some California lawmakers to swallow. Senator Scott Weiner voiced his displeasure, calling Musk's move a fake temper tantrum. California literally made you with taxpayer subsidies and because it's the best place around. Will this be a fake temper tantrum move just like Tesla's fake move to Texas? However, many in California have come to see it as the inevitable result of overbearing policies that are pushing businesses and talent out of the state. As California's job market weakens, with private sector employment declining by over 46,000 workers, companies like Tesla, SpaceX, Oracle, Cisco, and Intel are actively looking for ways to relocate. While the Golden State is struggling, Texas is booming with the arrival of Musk's companies, especially SpaceX. The bottom line? SpaceX is fueling Texas's rise as a leader in commercial space innovation, manufacturing, and technology while California watches some of its biggest companies leave for greener pastures in the Lone Star State.